Is your child enjoying my content? If so, could you hit that subscribe button? I would really appreciate it. Thanks. Welcome back to Legendary Kids. I have a new story. Are you surprised? <laughs> Today we're going to be reading this story. I want you to take a look at the picture. Think about what you see. What do you think this story might be about? Yes. Maybe. When I look at the picture, I see a dragon. Breathing fire. Ooh, scary. I also see a little boy. He doesn't look so scared to me. And he's playing in the sand. Hmm. This story is called, When a Dragon Moves In. It is written by Jody Moore and illustrated by Howard McWilliam. We're going to play a game during this story. We're going to be looking for a letter. It's hidden somewhere in one of these pictures. Your job's to find it. This letter says, ah. Do you know what letter it is? If you do, say it out loud. What letter says, ah? A says, ah. Good. In the story, somewhere is the letter A. Let's see if you can find it. If you build a perfect sandcastle, a dragon will move in. He'll settle in all cozy and peep at you from inside. And you'll wonder how you ever got so lucky. With a dragon in your castle, you'll have a built-in marshmallow toaster. Your very own raft. And a kite that practically flies itself. Best of all, no beach bully would dare stomp on your castle with a dragon inside. Of course, there are rules on the beach, so you'll have to hide his smoke from the lifeguard. And erase the dragon prints from the sand. Eventually, you'll want to share the great news with your family. There's a dragon in my castle! You'll call to your mom. Hmm, mm-hmm, she'll answer. Listen to him roar! You'll say, I hear the roar of the ocean, she'll reply. See this feather from my dragon's wing? You'll ask your dad. That's a nice seagull feather, he'll say. And do you know what feathers are good for? <laughs> Feel my dragon's sharp teeth, you'll shout. Those are just broken shells, your sister will say. But you and your dragon will know better. Just about then, your dragon will demand to be fed. First, he'll eat all the peanut butter sandwiches. Even the ones that were supposed to be for your sister. Then his fiery snout will make the lemonade sizzle. Stop blowing bubbles in your drink, your mom will say. That wasn't me, you'll answer. That was the dragon. And you'll hear a he 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 from deep inside the castle. Finally, since dragons love dessert, he'll slink into the family cooler and nibble the brownies when no one's looking. Nom 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 nom. 
fingerprints are in the brownies, your dad will ask. Not fingerprints, you'll try to explain. Dragon prints. There's no such thing as dragons, your sister will say. Then your dragon will snicker again. He 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 he. And spray sand all over her. <laughs> Young man, I don't think that this is funny, your mom will say. That wasn't me, you'll answer. It was the dragon. I think we've had enough of this dragon business, your dad will say. I guess I've had enough of this dragon business too, you'll sigh. Then you'll march over to your sandcastle and order your dragon to leave until he learns some manners. And you will vow never to build a perfect sandcastle again, at least until tomorrow. So I have to know, did you find the sneaky letter hiding in the story? The one that says the sound ah? Remember letter A? Did you find it? If you didn't, I challenge you to watch the video again and see if you can spy it. It's pretty sneaky. Thanks for watching today, friends. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!